Okay. You talk. No, you're talking. All right. Well, this is um, this is piece litter out of Champion Tangents, the Maverick Cosmonaut Field Champion, and they were born on all day Monday, one at the time, and so we'll show you the girls first since they're not nursing right now, and then we'll show you the boys. We have two little gold fawn twins, and they are pretty much the same size and color, and this brown color that you see here turns into a real pretty honey golden fawn um, later on and it all clears out and then all that little black that's around their eyes turns into mascara and just a little bit of shading and that will fade out so right now they look really dark and brown like squirrels but in about six weeks they're going to be a nice little pale golden color and they have they all very much the same they have um, little white socks and white necks, chests, blaze, tail tip, and that's it. And then, because we didn't get very many white on them, we have their sister, <laughs> and she has an ear that's colored on one side, and on the other side she has a patch on her neck that goes over the ear, and she has a little black nose, and she's a big fat white bitch. And she was the last puppy born. And she's a whopper. And then we have our boys. Mm. And this little boy, he looks like he looks like his half brother Pigal. He looks just like Pigal. He does. He does. It's a little Pigal. Little fawn brindle puppy. Yeah, we cute. Beautiful little pup. Yes, we like him. Yeah. He's a sweetie. And then he has a fawn brindle brother who has much fewer stripes. I'm going to put him in the sun. This is one side and you can see it has stripes up to here but not really very many on his body. And you roll him over and he has a lot more stripes on this side but still pretty sparse, not as many stripes as the other guy. And they both have white feet, a blaze, a little shading up around the eyes and a little white chest patch. This is what we call an Irish marking in whippets. And then, because we didn't get very much white on those two, we got some boys that do have a lot of white. This guy here is a sable, and I'm not quite sure if he's going to be a sable red or a sable fawn yet, but he's really sabled, and he is marked really like a Jack Russell Terrier. Good Jack Russell markings. He has a really <laughs> cute face. And he's the smallest puppy in the litter, um, but he's definitely doing very well in nursing. Just and mommy's fine. cleaning. Good mm -hmm. job. Yes. Good and job, then, Mom. This big fat thing is his brother. <clears throat> This is definitely a red brindle, and he has that one stripe on the show side, I mean on the off side, and then he has his head marking here, and he's going to have a very pretty red coloration, and there's his little face. He's a, a nice very face. White blaze. Yes, he's a beautiful puppy. Beautiful puppy. And then he's all white except for his head marking yeah. on what we call the show side, which is the left side, which is the side the judge normally sees the most of. And he was, he was the fourth of the boys that was born. So we have four boys and three girls, and then this is their mother, and she's just very relaxed in the box, taking care of them. Hi, Pete. Wondering what that camera is. Hi, Pete. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Pete. Yeah. Taking a nap. Gorgeous little puppies. Mm -hmm. There's a little Pigal here. A little so Pigal. cute, that one. Well, Pigal is off course here. Yeah, of course. Like he has he a yeah, Pigal trial. is off course. He's off course again. <laughs> he's he's off gone course. off. He's, <laughs> he's blown the first turn. <laughs> he's blown the first turn. He cuts. Mean, actually, yeah, he cuts. He, he cuts. Yeah, he cuts. And P says, don't you make fun of my puppies. They're all going to be perfect. This time. <laughs> this time, yeah. This time. This one, we've got it right. We're finally going to get it right. Yeah, she so has who is there? Puppies. Boy, 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 girl, and I know, boy, girl, I know boy, the name of girl. that one. Yes. That one will be Truffle. Uh -huh. And that one will be... Chanterelle. Chanterelle. Uh -huh. And after and that... Right now we're calling this one Amanita. Yeah. And then we have a Shiitake. And yeah. a Portobello. Yeah. And, and after that, that we need to find some more mushroom names. Yeah. <laughs> But they're going to be named after mushrooms. Ah, oh, we can call one champignon. 